so hello welcome and welcome back to my channel and i was just turning on the camera okay so today's video is a skincare video and this is my nighttime skincare routine so i'll probably update you on the daily one so first i take a tissue and then i fold it into a suitable size and then i use my celeza micellar cleansing water i got that from as you can see i state everything down and then i just use that to clean my makeup so on the eye area i go very gently to soak like in case i have mascara or eyeshadow to soak everything so it just melts everything and i just wipe it off with ease this micellar water is actually very good as you can see so i use this for the first cleanse so i just wipe my face very thoroughly and i don't forget your neck here because definitely you put makeup on your neck to match your face so don't forget your neck then after i wipe everything i go in with my simple micellar water also from stated below and i use a cotton a cotton wool instead so i just take some cotton and then i pour my simple micellar water on the cotton for the second cleanse because you can never get all the makeup off in the first cleanse so i use this and then i just go back in and just cleanse clean all you see clean all the makeup off it so i just wipe and wipe and wipe off i go around my eye my eyebrows then i go behind my yeah my neck everywhere i just i just clean i hope you can hear me but i just clean everything don't forget your neck or else you get wrinkles on your neck as you can see everything is cleaned no makeup off then i forgot to show the product but i use the Bari deep cleansing blah 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 you see it's there i got it from miss gatti on instagram so i use this and the real two brush to scrub my face any cleansing brush that's not too harsh can do this job this brush has actually really changed my my skin like get a brush your hand cannot do all the work like get a brush to clean all the makeup from your pores and then like you see the difference in your skin after you start using a, a brush for some time you see ouch oh, entered my eye one minute <laughs> okay so then i go in with the neem black soap and shea butter and I mix this too because in one part like share butter, so like a piece I share butter, one part, and then the second part, two parts share butter, like twice the size. And I mix it because the share butter, the black soap can sometimes be harsh. So I mix it and it moisturizes my face. So I mix both to calm the harshness first of all and also to serve as a moisturizer while i wash my face so i use this as a mask so definitely i put too much because my camera went off and then i had to do it again but then i use this combination it makes the so very much so i keep on my face for five minutes as a mask and then after i rub it in for another five minutes to get everything you know inside the skin you know everything inside the skin five minutes so rub for five minutes and leave on your face for five minutes or you can just wash it off any way you choose then after i wash it off i use a tissue i don't use a towel to clean my face because of build up gem build up and everything so i use a clean tissue to clean my face and i don't waste the tissue i use the tissue i've used already too for the next time i wear makeup i used to clean the makeup off if you can guess the song i'm singing i'll probably get you my cellar water yeah that'll be the gift if you can guess the song i'm singing then i get you oh, whatever the set of your daily cleanser and i use that to wash my face so that's my last cleanse like i do a three step in the night i really go in on the on the skincare like i really go in like you can never do too much unless it's very harsh but you can never clean your skin your skin is what people see first though so i go in with the cetaphil and i massage this deeply into my skin like as you can see i massage to improve circulation and also to get the products into my skin and my pores so i just massage very well wash off then back with the tissue to clean everything of my face water 
excess product everything off my face then after that <laughs> don't mind my my dancing and my fooling around so guess the song let me know in the comments if you can figure out the song then i go in with my tone i normally use witch hazel but i ran out so i bought this clean and clear blackhead cleanser and it actually does a pretty good job but i prefer my witch hazel to this then i use this clean and i also always clean around my nose very well because the dirt can build up and i clean my cheeks in the opposite direction so that it cleans inside the pores i don't know if you understand but yeah inside the pores that's where i have like a lot of pores so i clean in the opposite direction to enter you know enter the, the skin very well you know you know what i'm saying you know go around behind my ear to clean everything excess makeup my neck everywhere just clean you see there's still that on my neck so i just clean everything and when you're cleansing don't forget your neck don't forget your neck then after that i let it dry then i go in with my aloe vera from mascology so i don't you can the, the raw one is actually the best but i don't have time to be using raw every day so i use this and i rub it into my skin very very well this is this, very this really good it, it soothes your skin especially after the toner especially the toner is harsh it really soothes your skin and also as you know aloe vera helps feed dark marks so as you can see my dark marks are fading gradually 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 it's not there yet but it's getting there as compared to what it was before and then i wait for it to soak into my skin and then dry completely like let's dry completely before you use this next product then this is what has really changed my skin like this this thing this thing is like it's like the best best cream for your black spots like it fades your black spots so as you can see all my black spots are now like brownish because this thing fades and it, it's it's actually you use it once at night that's why that's it once at night use it at night when you do your skincare so use it once a day that's at night only on very dry face so you can either use this before the aloe vera or after the aloe vera when your skin is very very dry like dry and you rub it in on where it doesn't bleach your skin if you bleach my skin you'd have realized that it doesn't bleach your skin it doesn't do anything it just fades the black spots and you need to have patience you need to have patience because it works but it's not as fast as two days or three days like after a month or two you begin to see the progress in your skin then i go in with the clean and clear sports control moisturizer and then i just moisturize my face because it's oil free i really like to use this twice a day morning and evening i'll do my morning skincare routine for you to see so i put this in because it's a different thing so i use this I massage this into my skin seems like a lot of steps but trust me you need to take care of your skin some people you might be someone who doesn't need all these steps you need to find what works for you so i just massage this into my skin don't mind the white dots tissue left over on my skin and then i go in with my neutrogena hydro boost water gel and jackie i actually recommended this and it's actually good because it has no oil in it so if you have very oily skin like as you can see my face already shiny i have very 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 oily skin like no primer works for me oily skin that kind of oily skin so i go and massage my neck because your neck will get wrinkles and it will look older than your face if you take it off only your face so i go in and just massage everything including the hydro boost gel everything into my skin i just massage it and yeah wait for everything to to enter the skin you know massage my face i got this from patricia bright she massages her face and actually pulls your skin like pulls your skin back so it gives you a tight look so you don't get wrinkles early if you massage because it improves circulation also and then i go with the same shea butter i used in the beginning because this is in the night so i need to moisturize my face as i sleep so that the oil doesn't it balances the oil in my skin so you can go in with like any other oils like coconut oil argon oil don't mind the noise i'm sorry coconut oil argon oil any oil that you think jojoba oil any oil that you think is good for your skin you can go in with that oil so I just massage the shea butter in, as you can see, pulling. So that's 
you're supposed to even pull the direction i'm doing this wrong you're supposed to pull yes in this direction like in that direction to pull all the wrinkles out of your face you know you can never start taking care of wrinkles too early like snatch that jawline like you know you know just make your face look like glass yeah yeah that's it <laughs> so you just want to to share butter in and as i keep saying everybody's skin is different so you these things might probably not work for you but it worked for me and it's consistency i started doing this in december and as you can see my skin is not even fully there yet so consistency is key then the last thing i do is to grow my brows and lashes i put castor oil jamaica black castor oil on my spoolie and use this to brush to the roots of my eyebrows and my lashes so i just brush it in and it, you know as castor oil helps your hair to grow it also helps hair everywhere to grow so i just put it to make my lashes look you know longer and fuller and everything so yeah this also helps grow your brow so yeah skincare is personal so consistency is key and find things that work for you don't give up after one week or two weeks do you understand i hope you understand me so yeah let me know if you want any more bye bye bye